rough. All right. David likes the sound of that no matter what. Yeah, yeah, like, David... I do. Especially because I can't find paper right now. Here we go. And it is humorous, the things they get wrong. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, Laurie's here. Yep. I'm being very careful who we let in because I had an incident oh, no, with open really. space. Yes. Yep. Uh -oh. It was quite alarming. Oh, dear. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, Laura. Go Jason's, dad, Jason's dad got a real eyeful. <laughs> I'll have to ask him about that. Yeah. <laughs> Open space is meeting in person, person this month. And the, the assistant town administrator said, huh, I noticed they're meeting in person. Is that because of what happened last time? I said, well, that and uh, Chris Curtis isn't uh, traveling, apparently. <laughs> well, welcome, everybody. Uh, let me just do the introductions here. David Gilbert Keith, chair, is present. Steve Spoboda is present. Jason Curtis, not Chris Curtis. I usually say that. Uh, M.A. Swedland and Lori Busada is poised over the keyboard, ready to take notes, I'm sure. <laughs> not, as, not as good as AI, but I'll try. Oh, I'll bet you're far better. <laughs> so um, we need to review two, two months worth of minutes, um, April, no, um, March, April and uh, May. Which you sent out, which is awesome. Yeah, go figure, huh? <laughs> I'm opening them as we speak. Uh -huh. I haven't reviewed them yet, though. Me too. I'll do that. Oh, really? What? Uh oh. <laughs> what, did we, what did we do? Nothing. I just thought it was funny that. Everybody's impressed that you mailed them, but nobody's <laughs> reviewed them yet. I thought that was funny. I read them because I said, oh, what did I write? <laughs> it is funny. Um, that's the agenda. Here we go. So let's start with 411 minutes. Anybody? Um, I move the 411 minutes, 411 24 minutes for approval. Do we for have approval. a second on that? Second it. All right, a vote. I vote move we approve. I am a Lori Jason Steve. Aye. Aye. Aye, aye, aye. Looks Thumbs good. Up. All right. Then we go on to 5-8. It's extremely short. <laughs> Which helps a yeah, lot. It yeah, I think that might have been the time that I had to go to choir. Um, I had to leave too, if I remember correctly. Hmm. There we go. Oh, yeah, it is short. <laughs> <clears throat> Lots of bad news. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also moved the min. Oops, I just shut them. That was a mistake. I also move the minutes to accept the minutes of five eight. We have a second. Uh, Twenty four. A second. Jason seconds. We vote. I I I I I. Looks M -A -I. unanimous. I. There. Now. 
green communities. Um, Jason, I know you and Allison were having a lot of back and forth. Um, I'm going to be right back. Ah. I'm listening. I can hear you. Okay. Um, everything got submitted. Chris had some questions. I hope they got answered. Chris Mason, that is. Do we? Does anybody know when we when we find out about green communities? That was my question. Oh. What was it that I'm forgetting now? What the hangup was? Chris Mason wanted more information on. No, it wasn't frontier. I, th I think what he was asking for, David, was um, he, I think he asked whether we had were whether we were able to get any more information on rebates for either the weatherization or the controls. Oh, that's right. And yes. we sent them the forms for the weatherization, but we don't have the forms for the control stuff. So. Hey. And it was up to Matt McTeague and. Well, uh, as a refresher, it was in the minutes that we were just looking at. Yeah. You know, the two days before the grant deadline, he sent forms that would have taken somebody hours or if not days to, to complete. Right. I remember I, that. And we. The sense that I we... had from. Just refresh. Uh, yeah so the they chris mason wanted the you know <laughs> on may 24th he asked for the controls utility you know the controls rebate information yeah that and he said it had to be the responses needed to be in by no later than seven days later, and that still wouldn't have been enough time to get what we needed to get pulled together. So, you know, we, we, we decided to just go with elementary school, skip Frontier, and we thought we'd be okay, and then try and go for Frontier in the fall. So, but we still don't have any of that. I mean, we're supposed to fill out those forms. That's crazy. Well, re reading reading between the lines, MA, like the the sense that I have is that green communities is going to view our application as incomplete because we didn't get the rebate stuff from every source. So whether that disqualifies us or if it just hurts us is unclear. Yeah. Yep. I know um, Allison or Crystal Hamlin from the um, people who did the weatherization estimate sent stuff, but getting mass saved to respond to anything is not so easy. I, I, I don't. I mean, this sounds really naive, but I don't understand why Matt McTeague would do that if, if this is a standard thing that they work with green communities. And if it is the way that they do it all the time, you'd think Chris Mason would know. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah. we, need, we need to get back in touch with all those people and find out what's going on. Yeah. So Chris, Chris Mason. I'll, and... I'll, I'll be honest, folks. Like it. You know, could I have been trying to sh shepherd this, you know, form completion with the controls contractor this the whole time? Probably, but, and I, I probably will still try to do that, but it's not going to be seven days. It's going to be weeks of us chasing this yeah. information right. with these controls contractors that really don't have a whole lot of incentive to do this for us anyway, because there's no guarantee they're going to get the work. Yeah. So, you know, I thought that I, I was under the impression that Mass Save could just up and do this, and it and it was 
pro forma and or prescriptive and apparently to do the prescriptive though they need this form completed that's that's the answer that we got and, from matt mcteague and then we got it two days before the grant was due initially yeah and then we got the email from chris mason and he wanted it seven days later and i just you know it's no. it, it's just okay. not so not realistic so i'll i'll respond to that email thread and i'll just say it's going to take much more time than we're being afforded to do this you know we intend to do it but it is and at this point we're just talking about the elementary school right i mean that's yes. all we applied for right i, I wonder if we need to do it for both i mean if we're going to pursue well it, we need to yeah, I'm, uh, that's what I'm wondering right now. If, Eventually, if, yes. I mean, if I we're um, not going to get the elementary school grant this round, maybe we just take what we've done and get those forms filled out for the fall and submit for both Frontier and the elementary school. I, I wonder if it's worth a conversation with Chris, though, um, about, so. about what you said, Jason. Like, what is... Uh, is this typical to expect uh, somebody bidding on a, um, or not even bidding on a job, but you know, somebody that you're consulting on a job to fill out this detailed paperwork? Um, you know, just what is his experience with that? Just, I mean, you ha you haven't actually asked them yet, the the um, consulting company. Oh, okay, so we don't we don't know. Well, for well sure. they're not, they're, and they're not a consultant; they're a contractor. You contractor, know? yeah, yeah. Robert, yeah. Yeah, but um, they, but I mean, the thing is, well, I don't know. Um, it's, I, I, I don't, I can't imagine. I, I guess, I guess I'm wondering, uh, could, in other words, Chris, you're, you, I mean, there we go again. Um, <laughs> Jason. You, you you are an expert at these kinds of things. I, if if you weren't on the committee and I was expected to do this, I wouldn't be able to, right? Get all these forms filled out and everything. I mean, give and me I'll be honest, time. like I, I looked at the forms. I can't even, I couldn't even do it myself if I wanted to, because I would need input from Bill Hildreth. I would need input from the controls contractor and it would take meetings and a lot of time that we've never been afforded yeah. Yeah. either by Eversource or by green communities. Like, you know, the, there was a grant deadline and he was basically giving us a, you know, a seven day window yeah. to like do the next thing that we didn't do for the initial grant deadline. And that's just not enough time. Yeah. Do you, do you think it's worth a, a quick conversation with Chris and say that we can start the process? But I mean, we, I'll we send, did. I'll send an email. Okay, yeah, because you did the background information, you know, you got the. I'm not sure that why the energy committee has, I mean, it just seems like a huge task to ask of, that's what I was saying. If, if I mean, if you're not, how do you get it done? We're supposed to actually, without, it, we didn't have any warning, I understand, and, and we have this deadline, but is, is it, is it a, is Eversource asking a task that's basically impossible for uh, the general public to do? When they give you the forms two days before the grant deadline, yes, it's impossible. Oh, for sure. But what if what if they'd given them to us a month before, and so that there would I, I would think we would have been able to pull it off. Okay, so yeah. it's not about expertise per se. It's just that we have to have a whole lot of signatures. Well, it's 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 really about. Like we 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 would be leaning on others, right, for the mm -hmm. expertise, but it's just about sheer willpower, right? You know, and like, will you know, willingness to, for lack of a better way of saying, it, grind it out, and you know, have the meetings and have the conversations. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I I just I didn't have know. time. You know, I don't have the time to do that. No, much no we now. all entirely blame you, Jason. I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of, you can. No, I mean, I can, there was no um, hinting of this when we met with Matt McTeague. You know, no, here. There no, and and it seems pretty damn clear to me that Mass Save is dedicated to slowing things down. And it appears that they way. Are, they're famous for it. 
And I, I'd like to talk to Chris because clearly, you know, we did our due diligence. We, we got the application together and Mass Save sat on it and didn't tell us they wanted all this information and they didn't, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. And yet, if that ruined our application and we're out of it, how do we get ready for the fall and go with both? Right. And how, and how can, I mean, this should not, still shouldn't fall all on Jason. So no, and we, no, know I, that, we know that Bill Hildreth would love to just sink the whole project. Don't put that in the minutes. I, um, I think, <laughs> you know, I have done some of this kind of tracking things down, finding people who can sign the thing. I could do some of it. Um, I'm around. I can do some of it. You know, I mean, yeah. if it's just a question of footwork. It's pestering. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> um, Kicking. You know, if, if, it, if a lot of it's just how many square feet is this and how many, you know, we can work that out but um well i think i think a conversation with chris to start out with is yeah. a good idea i'll give you an, ex an, an example of like the type of thing that needs to be in that form and it is like so if you think about the elementary school you've got classrooms that have a certain type of hvac system in it right yeah. and then you've got areas like the gym or the cafeteria that have a different type of HVAC system. And mm -hmm. you've got administrative office areas that have a different type of HVAC system. It wants you to break down by square footage of like what types of systems serve what areas and how that correlates to the controls improvements that we're making. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, we could, you know, between Bill Hildreth and, and me and the controls contractor we could we could answer all those questions but it's like that's hours of time and communication and back and uh, yeah forth. it sure is and you know and then and then once you have that filled out then mass save gives us the incentives or the prescriptive allegedly but it's funny you know that um for the weatherization one crystal hamlin right yeah crystal yeah. hamlin yeah submitted the paperwork to mass save uh you know weeks and weeks ago and they never you know they haven't even gotten the commitment from mass save yet is my yeah. understanding so it's like even 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 right. on top That's of all of the headache of dealing with getting the paperwork in order you're still at the mercy of mass save to decide when they want to tell you whether they're going to actually give you the rebate or not yep Right, which is, I feel like was very deceptive of Matt McTeague and all the meetings that we had with him. He, he never, yeah. I don't know, but, a, can we do anything about that at this point? And, and if we can, what do we do? In other words, how do we move forward? Well, we got the, the move we forward here, and I'm doing, I'll work on it while we're all talking here, that is, I'm going to send an email to Allison. I'm going to lay out what we all sort of just talked about. I'll say, you know, we will try to start moving, or we'll, I won't even say start. I, I will say we'll try to continue advancing, you know, the paperwork side of the thing for the controls. But as you can see, they haven't even made a commitment for the paperwork, you know, on the weatherization stuff that they were that was submitted before the grant deadline, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, so like I don't I, you know, we basically what I'm gonna say is what what does green communities want us to do? Because we're not having we're not getting part uh participation from massive yep well we are we're getting negative participation <laughs> they're they're really putting their foot in the door um well uh that sounds very good jason pursue that i will if would anybody mind if i try calling chris and just say you know where do no, we stand? I, off, I authorize you to as a well. Is there a re member. well? Is there a reason why we wouldn't want Allison to do? I was going to oh, say no. Allison I think we talked to both of them. Oh uh, yeah, I just or Allison get a, could do that. Just get a sense of whether we're starting over or or pulling this forward. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I will specifically say. 
can you find out from Chris Mason yeah. whether our application is going to be reviewed without the mass save commitments? And and with the, the weatherization um, information, am I saying that Mass Save didn't respond with with the incentives? They did not, is my okay. understanding. Okay. Unless David, you've seen something since the last nope. correspondence. Not a not a whisper. Yeah. Um all I know is that on the legislative level. Natalie and uh, Joe Comerford have been hearing a lot about Mass Save, and they're you know they're trying to get Mass Save separated from the utilities. Yeah, I am happy management. to. I don't know if that will make it any better to... or not. Yeah, I'm... I it's it depends can't on help who's in charge that, of it. It can't help that the utilities see it as undercutting them. You know, it used to be thought that too bad. It used to be thought that the utilities would like us to save energy so they didn't have to build more of their utilities. But um, now they're getting worried about selling what they have. So, well, also, what, yeah, the, pro the problem for the utilities now is that the, the infrastructure isn't even close to what we need. And yeah. they're the ones who are going to have to create the infrastructure. So now they're. You know, I'm sure they're dragging their feet. We're, I mean, this is just kind, supposition. We're kind of talking about the way we see things. And I've been watching this. It isn't quite the way I see it. Um, mm -hmm. It it does seem the power company is to, is getting a huge benefit from people like us that don't use all our solar mm -hmm. because it doesn't have to go through much of their transmission lines at all. They sell it to our neighbors at full freight, full cost, right? Uh, the, um, the delivery and everything. So... And it, if it's just right in our own neighborhood, it's a, I mean, it's it's a huge benefit. It seems like the power companies have, uh, with their um, uh, legislative support and their handshaking, they've got, they've got a lot of uh, accomplishments, and they are hugely profitable because they they can go and do all kinds of maintenance and get paid fully for it. And when it's done, then they get to charge the community for the use of it. Yeah. Um, so. So uh, and there's multiple places where they're winners on top of winners. They mm -hmm. they do seem to get a little pressure from uh, parts of the government to um, make these programs work a little better. But, man, they they are they are difficult uh, to move. But um, how, I, that is the question. How 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 do we get the government to work? For, uh, well, I kind of see them as part of the government. They're regulated by a, a board. But it seems like the board's pretty well captured by the industry. But they're still oh, so sure. they're, they're a monopoly, basically that they they have some go a government oversight, but it's not really. It's they're overseeing themselves. Yeah. Well, so, we better move on. Before... Should, I, should I write to Natalie and Joe and explain to them what has happened to us? I wouldn't hurt. Okay. I'd be for it. Everybody okay with that? Sure. Yes. So do um, I have this correct that your, David is going to follow up with Chris Mason and um, Jason is going to follow up with Allison? I don't, I mean, I, I don't know that David needs to, I'm asking Allison yeah. to do it yeah. on okay. our behalf. Let, let's see what Allison says first and I, I'll, I'll follow up if needed. Okay. I'm also going to report to CCI committee, which is meeting next week. Um, about this okay. and and are, so um jason are you asking whether we should proceed with you know taking some action on this form i'm not i'm not asking i'm telling her we we're going to or okay. we, i'm sorry i keep saying that as if we haven't started i'm just going to say that we're going to continue pushing or trying to advance it but that it's it's a time consuming process and we're we're also not optimistic that even once it gets to into mass saves hands that they'll get back to us in a reasonable time frame right okay and my hope is that they can review our application in absence of this 
right with yeah. the understanding that we intend to get it but that we are at the mercy of others times yeah. yeah and i think Jason, that is the key point yeah. any help um doing any of this call on us yeah. since you do since you do work yeah uh, um thank you jason it, thank you jason it just seems like we we need a consultant and you're having to jump in and do it and i really appreciate it that it's uh if i mean this was a great really a, a challenging job but a good job but all the pulling all these things together and going to everyone's desk and kind of standing there till they come up with an answer of what they're doing yeah um if there's some part I can do to help, let me know. It just, I feel like I don't know these people. I don't know if I would be the best one to stand at their desk. <laughs> but I know, I know the, some of the, um, the, yeah, some people in town. So let me know. Um, let's move on from one depressing thing to a very exciting opportunity facing forward, but that may have its own roadblocks. M.A., do you want to take off on the Climate Leadership Program? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> Loaded question. No, mm -hmm. not at all. Uh, we, have, we have good support um, from people like CCI. Um, it it isn't clear that we have, I'm, I'm uh, anyhow, I think I would like, like to suggest, I'm being very careful what I say. Um, I would like to suggest that we assume we're gonna move forward on um, all, the, all the things we need from town meeting at the at the November, I think it's going to be November now town meeting, and there are a group of people who are supporting that, and um, will be helping us um, get that done. Wait, I'm sorry, Emmy. Emmy, can you back up a second? <laughs> what 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 is what is it that are we are we talking about all the parts of? But um, being eligible for 2.0? All, all, the, all the parts that need to be approved by town. Okay. I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean. So there's the vehicle policy. There's the, the, the piece that we won't, that we won't have. There's vehicle policy. There's this specialized stretch code. And there's the other one that I can never remember. But there's a third one. The the and, building decarbonization, um, the roadmap. No, well, that's the roadmap, but that's not doesn't have to go before town meeting. We have to create it. Oh, oh you're right. And it would be nice to get a grant, and but if we can't, maybe FERCOG or uh, somebody at UMass or something. Maybe we can get some help there on mm. that. Okay, so but that's different. To... But there's a fourth. That that's a fourth thing. I can't remember. Well, I can. I can't remember what the fifth thing is, but don't but don't worry about it now. Okay, but um, are, I'm sorry. I, I still that, that, okay. I um I don't know. I was distracted typing something. So, what did you say that you're you've been talking with some people about preparing to put this on the fall town meeting? Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm being I'm being vague. Please forgive me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, um, maybe yeah, I, I should just... say that we have a, a new atmosphere in town. Okay. I just want to point out that a lot of what could be our next steps as an energy committee hinge on whether or not we can be a uh, climate leader. And yes. For instance, I've seen emails back and forth about solar on the library, and this could help with that. And even solar at the schools wouldn't be out of the question, but we can't do it without, we're dead in the water basically without this. So 
So right, but if we get if we get the this path, if we get the key stuff passed at, at the November town yeah. meeting, yeah. then I think the only piece that we would have left of the things that because some of the things we've hoops we've jumped through already by definition. We have a committee, we yeah. have, you know, da 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 da. So um so if we get these passed at town meeting, then we can either try to get a grant or try to get somebody else to help us with the roadmap. Yeah. Um, and and there's no there's no indication right now what what the state is planning on whether they're planning on offering additional help. But there's a good chance that we could get uh, possibly some students at UMass or something like that to do the data collection part of, of, of the roadmap mm -hmm. and, or, or FERCOG yeah. um, to do that. So, um, and I know that, um, that um, the finance committee is, or, or I think it's the finance committee um, is, is really looking at at trying to build out our needs for a longer period of time than we do. So, what what is this building going to need in the, which is ex, you know in the next ten years? And that's exactly so that we'll be ready to um, provide that. And and so that being the case, they also are looking for a lot of the same information. And so we can coordinate that also. Did that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Well, MA, you and I are going to be working on some of this soon. <laughs> yes. Educational uh, materials and such. Uh, does anyone know any more about, I'm moving us along here, um, but I guess I should look at my own agenda. What would be the timeline for the fall warrant? Uh, I think I, what, what I heard this week was that it was going to be in November. Okay. The town, the special town meeting is going to be yeah. in November. Okay. So, so Pat, do you on. know when the, the deadline is? Well, no, but it's no? a couple. Okay. I mean, it's We've got a minute to find out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll be October. Yeah. So, MA, I, I did look it up. It just says um, being committed in good standing, establish a local committee, commit to municipal decarbonization by 2050. So, that is one yeah. of them. And, okay. So, I guess that, yeah, that's, I don't, which is, I don't know if town meeting has to pass the that. Top and then the, the ZEV first vehicle policy and specialized stretch code. Yeah. Okay. Um, and thanks. and Asheville just passed the specialized stretch yes. code. So I've I've been in conversation with them. They're also the um, there's a big uh, forum that the MMA is putting on. Right. Yeah. Oh, when is that? This weekend. Uh, I'm hoping there's a recording. I mean, you're freezing. June twenty fifth at. Actually, really hot. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's weird. I don't know why. I'm, oh well. Uh, Your voice. It could be through. that Alan's doing something. Okay, yeah. if my voice is coming through, I can shut up my camera. Mm. Casey says there's no date for the fall town meeting as yet. Uh, okay. Um, so should we move on? To, uh, does anyone know any more about the Community Climate Bank? No, but on my list of things to do, I mean, yes, I mean, it's it's pretty, it, it doesn't have any deadlines, but I'm planning on putting together a, a, a spread, not a spreadsheet, a, a information sheet on, on that. Yeah, and and then that's one of the things that I think is really important for us to get out to the community. Right, right. I do too. Uh so there are solar action plans. That's um, dependent on the climate leadership, <laughs> but basically, not my uh, I I I talked to Lily 
um, yes. yesterday, a couple of days ago. And she and I both thought that focusing on the um, climate leadership and also on the uh, Tilton Library roof yeah. uh, are the issues that we should focus on. And, and so if Lori's good with it, uh, I think the solar action plan will be we'll fold that into that into that and and trying to do something in the fall with at frontier is more than is too big for our plate yeah you good with that Lori? um i'm not sure exactly what what you're suggesting we do though I, well i think that the solar action plan will be getting well i mean the people who who work on the we're going to work on the solar action plan which is our committee focus more on the climate leadership stuff oh, and all okay. and also on the library roof and not worry we had talked about trying to do a a, a half day at frontier uh, educational piece and mm -hmm. i lily and i both agreed neither of us had anywhere near the time to work on that these other things so, are more important but um but what you're Thing is that somehow we will um, do some kind of educational outreach to people about like, uh, yes there's the about, the, about yes there will be but it'll it won't be an educational um, program about climate change and solar at frontier right it will be um, we'll have public forums we'll you know we'll, we'll figure out we'll have leaflets I, I mean I don't know there's okay. a a plan that will will be made as to how best to communicate to the town about these various things. Okay. Um, municipal things going on. Is Greg is not here today? Any anybody know anything about bike lanes? Or? I know that they are putting in the sidewalks on North Main Street. Oh, um, good. And I had a brief conversation with Christopher Dunn about that the climate at uh, the complete streets um, concept is, is not dead and they will look at bike lanes when that is um, renewed. Um, but yeah. Right. Remind, was mostly... me, remind everyone, mainly me, who Christopher Dunn is. Oh, he's the new planner. Oh, great. Do you also know that Chris Nolan no longer met. works for the town? What? Yes. No. When did he's that working, happen? He works for Montague now. What? Yeah. Who? Chris so we Nolan. got out of planner and we lost oh. our administrator. Yeah, yeah, that oh. did happen. Yeah. Boy. Wow. Um, he gave proper notice and et cetera, et cetera. And I, I, I don't, uh, it's just very unfortunate. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Huh. That's yeah. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping okay. that he is going to be replaced because I don't believe we can live without him. I. Wow, he was doing uh, a lot of work with MVP, I know. Yeah. Hmm. Speaking of which, um, any updates from MVP and CCI we should know about? Um, I believe that the senior housing, yes, I had a bunch of notes. Where's that? Hmm. Not there. This looks. Now I... Um. No, that's not it. Ah, uh, my desk is a mess. Um, but what, what I'm senior housing is think is thinks that they will break ground in the spring. Um, that's their timeline right now. Um, uh -huh. uh, or what? 
their timeline for breaking ground for for the senior housing. And where where is it going to be now? Oh, at that church on North Main Street? Not all of it. Some of it. They they've got various proposals. That's I think that that'll be on the November. There'll be a bunch about that on the November town meeting. Oh. And confused. How they're going to build senior housing starting a year from now? Yes. <laughs> Jason's looking. <laughs> yeah. Has it been designed? It's it, it. There are design uh, proposals. Yes. And how? And how is it getting paid for? Um, how's it getting paid? <laughs> The same way that Sunderland is, it's a it's a um, private public partnership, and uh, the town, uh, the town, oh. other than other than owning the property, um, the town is not will won't have any additional costs. But in in order for it to to go the way Sunderland Senior Housing went. They had to get state funding to do that. They went through a one-stop program and had to a competitive grant to do that, which the project needs to be designed to do. I think that's. I think we have received that. I think the town. I think the design. The the, the they we we have grants for the dis, the, the design work is 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 moving forward, and they're working with. I think Berkshire Design, but I'm not sure. But you can't get a, a, a grant to construct a facility without knowing how much it's going to cost. And you can only know how much it's going to cost if it's designed to the level that you can estimate the construction costs. Um, I, I'll, I will I, I, just... I, I suggest, I, I, don't ha I don't have the details on that. I'm, uh, I, I can get them for you. Um, or you can get in touch with Lily Dwight and find out the, you know, the real answers. I, I just don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know the details on it. I know that it's moving forward and, um, and they're hoping to break ground in the, in the spring. So. And do, the, do we know the, about the, the um, geothermal municipal campus thing? Is that moving? No. I mean, yes, it's, I mean, it's, it's all part of the, all the various grant applications that yeah. are, are out there. Um, but, uh, and as I, I, I think there's um, the heat grant that they got mm -hmm. will pay for the borings. Huh. And that, I assume that that is going to happen maybe before the end of this month. Oh, cool. So, and that's, I mean, I'm pretty sure Lily is on board, but that's another, yeah, yeah she's on board. Another reason for us to become, um, you know, Absolutely. Climate Leader 2.0 because. Absolutely. So it's not just solar on the library. I'm going to put in geothermal. <laughs> right? Definitely. I mean, and, you know, yes. And the, and the state is looking at, at, you know, parking lots and this and that and the omnibus budget and the omnibus climate bill is being voted on as we speak and all sorts of stuff is happening, but there are still no real answers. I guess my reaction to the senior housing thing, MA, is if, if, if the design is truly that far along and we've seen, like as a community, have seen nothing about... Oh, no, we have. They've had two or three... Um, meetings where the the uh, uh, architects have made proposals and people have they've been sort of open forums and I, I i went to one i know that there's been another one that i couldn't go to yeah um, i went to one that was outdoors by the library <laughs> by... yeah i think and i went to one that was in town hall so I, I know they've had two um talking to the community about various designs mm. Maybe and and how do so, people get information about that? Because I I heard I heard it mentioned in another meeting, but how how is that stuff communicated? I'm just curious. 
Um, you know, how did you guys know about it? Just because of your connections with. I'm just anticipating, you know, um, hassles at town meeting and people, you know, yeah. pretending they never heard anything about it, which is hard to avoid. But well, let me tell you that Jason Clark was at the meeting that I went to, and he screamed and yelled about not being told about it, and so that they, I know that they've been doing a lot of outreach. I, I don't know uh, how successful it was. It is, or I, I'm surprised you all haven't heard about it. Well, we, I don't, I mean, unless a person reads the, or even if the person does read the um, town website on a weekly basis, I, I just, I mean, I guess, I don't know, is it Deerfield now? I, I, that's one thing that I think we could talk about as a, as a community somehow is, how do we get the word oh, out about stuff? It is, it is a huge issue, and there's no doubt. And um about how, how 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 we communicate and and as we go about I mean it's it's a huge issue related to the specialized stretch book as we try right. and get that passed absolutely right. yeah. well anyway is there anything we need to be doing um well Jason and I Jason we are talking about trying to get the specs, all the specs necessary for the library. And Jason asked for some, a little bit more. And I basically asked Tim Hilchey if Jason could talk directly to the architect rather than going yeah. through me. So um, hopefully Tim answers that in the next, or if he hasn't already, yeah. I don't know whether he has or not, but. Um, all right. Well, um, and then but, but that's moving forward. Um, so I, I think I did send a question to Allison about whether we could, um, apply for a, a solar feasible stu feasibility study with this, um, block grant. Right. That, um, for 35, for towns under 35,000. Which is us, right? <laughs> Definitely yes. it is us. Um, and energy managers I, or clean energy community campaigns, I, I don't know. What, but definitely the energy it's engineering and design for building decarbonization so it, it seems like they could do a, um, a feasibility study on both schools and maybe even the um dpw yes. and and it says and maybe help with the, the car decarbonization roadmap so how do we go about putting that proposal together i mean we are we already did oh my god never mind Mm -hmm. The final R step applications do not do on June thirteenth. No, 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 no. That's a different August. thing. August sixteenth. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think um, Jason, does it seem right to you that the Meta Grant proposal already includes some of that information? The Meta Grant proposal we didn't get. Yeah. Meta Grant. Uh, what what kind of information are you looking for, Lori? Um, about that that we are asking for a engineering study on the feasibility of solar on both roofs, the um, Frontier and Deerfield Elementary. Through a different, uh, something other than the Meta? Yeah, this is the um, Energy Efficiency Conservation Block Grant. Yeah, I could, I could send you the, I don't think, I think when we did the Meta Grant, it was just for Frontier. Okay. It was my recollection we had to, we didn't think that, because it was like a $20,000 cap and they didn't think that it would be enough to do both or something like that. Right. right. Yeah, this says um, for projects up to 50,000. Wait, eligible is it up to? For oh, wait, offering competitive subgrants to eligible municipalities up to 75,000 for public building envelope projects. Okay, that wouldn't be. And then up to 50,000 for the following activities, which includes engineering design for building decarbonization. So Jason, 50, have, you 000, seen that? have you seen that grant announcement? Me? Yeah. Um, um, Laura, you want to pass that it, on to Jason? It's, it, he, he was CC'd, yeah. So it was from MA on um, uh, last Monday, this past Monday, the, six, the 17th. Um, 
so I'm just, I don't know if, you know, I've never actually written a proposal um, myself uh, for this kind of stuff. I mean, do you think it's something Allison would do? I'm pretty sure I asked her if, if she would do that. <laughs> she was on oh. vacation for- Oh, she's out and we will be back July 1st. Okay. Um, yeah. Or, or, and we also asked for the decarbonization roadmap. So that was another, both of those things. Um, yeah, that's what I asked. So anyway, I guess I can try to follow up with Allison about that after July 1st. I'm going to be away for about three weeks um, out west visiting my son and some other family. Um, but I will still have email. So <laughs> I just, I, I just I feel know. like we should jump on that. Yeah, CCI, CCI is also very interested in that. So that will come up at, at the CCI meeting. Okay. Cool. Um, before we schedule the next meeting, Lori, I, when I did introductions, I missed Jay. I think he was yeah, yep, down I, low I, on my screen. Thank you, Jay, for being here. Well, uh, he says admin on his, on his picture, so. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> Uh, we didn't say anything about MVP. Should we say anything about MVP? Oh, we didn't have a quorum at the last meeting, so we don't know squat. How about that? Of MVP. Oh, we didn't have a meeting since then? Oh. No, we haven't had one, have we? I thought there was one, but I couldn't go. <laughs> it was during when I was working, which is, and it was in person, so. Um. Oh, I, yeah, I, that, that was, it was while I was out West. Yeah, I don't um, have anything to report, so. Um, I, they're just, they, yeah. It's just moving forward. The next meeting? It's moving forward. <laughs> I don't know. They, there's, they, 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 they're pretty much completed the grant, the, the, Qualification qualifications necessary for um, MVP 2.0, and so we're moving forward with a seed project, oh. and I think the seed project will be primarily um, uh, drainage drainage problems in the center of town, basically ways to do culverts and and um, dealing with uh, with the bloody brook and and you know a variety of things like that. Cool. Next meeting. When in July? If we're looking at this block grant, it sounds like we probably want to meet early in July, huh? Yeah. I mean, I think, well, not only the block grant, but but trying to figure out how we're moving forward yeah. with uh, the green, community. green communities. Yep. Um, and David, you and I ought to have additional conversations. Yes, we do. How about the 11th? Is that not soon okay. enough. Well, I'll still be away, but I trust you all. <laughs> all right. Um, I and like I said, well, Allison will see this, but we should we should you follow know, up with Allison. Yeah, trying to get her help. Uh, uh, you you want me to follow up with Allison on those questions? Sure, that would that would be great. Since you're going to be gone. Mm -hmm. That would be great because I hope to be backpacking much of that time. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, the eleventh works for me. Anybody else? No, I can do that. All right. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Zooming. So what day of the week is that? That's Thursday. Thursday. Okay. July 11th at 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so did somebody move, move to adjourn? <laughs> I move, we adjourn. We have Come a in. second. Second. There we go. And a vote. Aye. 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 And thanks to Pat. Thank you, Pat. Thank thanks, you, Pat. Pat. Thanks, You're Pat. welcome. Have a good evening. Yeah. Stay cool, everybody. Yes, yeah, same to you. Bye.